Nigeria's uh, Jigawa state, located in north-central Nigeria, is home to more than 4 million people. Over the past five years, the state has, be, has seen a big improvements in education, the result of huge investments made in the sector. Jigawa state also recently hosted its first economic and investment summit held in Dutse, the state capital. The event was attended by many dignitaries, including members of the diplomatic corps, former governors of the state, and prominent religious leaders. The driving force and vision behind both of these achievements is the governor of Jigawa State, Alhaj Sule Lamido. And we are pleased to have him in the studio today. And uh, we want to welcome Governor Lamido to Africa 54. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Vincent. Thank you very much. Now, uh, you know, the state Jigawa, uh, we don't talk about it a lot, but it's a fairly new state among Nigerian states, about, what, 22 years old. Tell me, how has this been a challenge in the development of that state? Well, first of all, uh, Jigawa is located in the northwest, not in the north central. Yeah. Northwest. northwest. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there are so many challenges. It's a new state, uh, cut from old Kano state. And therefore, since our independence, uh, development has been focused mainly in the area of Kano as a one state state. Mm -hmm. And so obviously when the state was covered out in 1992, there are so many challenges, infrastructure, health, and what have you. And uh, there have been a huge difficulty trying to overcome them. But thank yeah. God, you know, in the last six, or six years, uh, since I came in, uh, like I've been saying, there is this collective result by the guy people yes. to take their future into their own hands. Exactly. And therefore work for the, for the state. And we're talking about uh, up to 80% of the population is actually engaged or survives uh, by a subsistence farming. Yeah, absolutely. How, what have you done specifically to make sure that then you can grow the economy of this uh, state based on the activities of 80% of the population engaged in small-scale farming? We have a very, very vast area you know, both for rainfall agriculture and also for irrigation. And uh, we've been able to get some few investors to get into the state. And then uh, the government, we've been able to look at, you know, their local condition mm -hmm. and uh, how do we help them. Therefore, rather than using human force or human labor, we now use, you know, bulls and oxen plows. They've been giving, you know, improving, you know, hybrid, you know, uh, seeds. Mm -hmm. uh, they're also giving insects, and another thing which, which normally has been able to impact and raise their, their, their farming capacity to some level now. Yes. yes, and uh, the population of the youth is unbelievably yeah, huge yeah, in absolutely. Jigawa, uh, perhaps up to over 60% young people. Uh, what are the programs that you put in place to tap into the, the energy and the talents of the youth of Jigawa State? We have what we call, uh, let me say, and for, you know, for economic empowerment. In the last six, we've been able to set up you know, uh, small-scale uh, training uh, skills, facilities, why they do a number of things, you know, in, in, in basic services, artisan lay, you know, uh, uh, iron benders, uh, brick makers, uh, brick layers, mm -hmm. and, and, and uh, a number of things whereby they've been able to be taught some kind of trade, paint making, chalk manufacturing, and what have you. And we've been able to, at least in the last season, to, be, to, to take off at least, you know, at least 40,000 people from, uh, students from, 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 from the street. Because really, you know they function and, and work, you know, and they are now making a good living. Even only photography is something we do. Yes. yes. Now we know that uh, you cannot talk about Nigeria without talking about corruption. It's a big problem. Yourself, last year somewhere, uh, you quoted saying that uh, uh, corruption is in fact a national crisis. Uh, what are you th doing to fight this? Is it a, a war that is lost, or there are strategies to end it? Uh, no, it's you no know, gain. It. You see. In the last 30 years, since the coup d'etat of 1983, there have been total system collapse. Uh, there have not been anything called, you know, rule of law, transparency, and constitutionality. And so, well, this have, you know, have taken away, you know, what you may call, you know, the capacity of the system to be mm -hmm. able to render service. Yeah. So what we need is to restore first government is owned by the people, and therefore they begin by their own government. And therefore, through of transparency, accountability, you know, due process, so, you know, you restore confidence and restore these institutions. And when they are restored, they should be able to, you know, confront corruption. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all institutional. Well, uh, very briefly, uh, give me your thoughts on the President, uh, President Obama's trip to Africa, which is upcoming. You want me to be very, very honest? Uh -huh. You know, it has no meaning to me. It has no meaning. You don't think it has any meaning? No, I don't. Because, you see, it's being seen as a kind of, you know, 
patronizing and condescending visit. Yes. And uh, in Nigeria, we've got a lot of, you know, pride and huge history behind us that, you know, we don't want to be seen as somebody coming to play part, give a part of the back. Mm -hmm. We know what we need in our own country. We know what should be doing in our own country. And therefore, you don't if, think if, a U.S. If, president if, if visit means there, much. It's simply for probably of stamping his authority yeah. that, you know, we're doing something that I know I don't like it. Yeah. I think that, you know, we should be able to think what are our own problem and how do we solve them by ourselves, not necessarily being, you know, applauded by somebody from outside. Mm -hmm. If you come in there to see how we can be engaged you know, in mutual discussions to be able to look at what Nigeria is and how can we, you know, play a role between Nigeria and, and the U.S. I, I have no problem with that. Right now, are you seeing the U.S. playing any critical role in Nigeria, uh, especially knowing that in the north, uh, the U.S. has been talking a lot about uh, fighting the, uh, the extremists there. You see, again, uh, extremism is called by poverty. Mm -hmm. Simple. Anybody, any youth who has a space in one country, who has something to engage in, and who sees that, you know, yes, it's the future, will not be an extremist. So these are manifestations of system, and system failure, whereby this one, their own, you know, have taken their own kind of way of doing things, and therefore they're becoming difficult. Otherwise, want to show their confidence, give them hope, and that we are there for them. Yeah. Well, we will check with you because, you know, you have a presidential ambition. You have been mentioned along with the Chibuike Amaichi. Uh, we will hope to talk to you as president of Nigeria. But this is uh, all the time we have for now. Thanks a lot for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs> yes. And uh, that was uh, Governor Alhaji Sule Lamido of Jigawa State in Nigeria joining us today on Africa 54. Once again. Thank you very much. Now, I want to know what you think about Africa 54 and the stories we cover during the conversation on Facebook. The address is Africa 54. And check out our headlines 24-7 on voaafrica.com.